So the census fidelium, uh, fidei, sorry, and obedience to the church. A lot of people want to ask, well, are we allowed to do this? Well, let's sort through it a little bit. Pope John, John the 23rd in 59, remember this got put in 55, in 59 when Pope Saint, he's a saint now, Saint John uh, the 23rd, at the celebration of Holy Week. Now remember the stations, they call them the stations. If you ever look in your hand missile, it says station, St. John Latin, station. That's because they had masses at all these different places, churches you probably have never even heard of, but they had these special masses always happen on this day at that place. So the station on this day is, is uh, Santa Croce in Jerusalem, the Holy Cross, St. Jerusalem of the Holy Cross. That's where the relics of the Holy Cross are. And it's um, four stone throws. I don't know how you can say it, but it's in front of the entrance of St. John Lateran Church, the new entrance. It's five, 800 years old. When you look, when you're standing on the front doorstep, you look down, there's a road that takes you all the way down to Santa Croce in Jerusalem, where the relics are. And you would process there. So he went down there. That used to be the backyard of the Pope. He went down there and uh, had the, the liturgy on Good Friday, right? Where all the relics are. The cross is there, the plaques there with the three, three titles on it. The nails are there. Uh, it, magnificent place to, to, to visit and pray. Um, well, he went there and on that time, so he followed the, the tradition, the traditional practice, thus making evident that he was not in agreement with the innovations recently introduced and that he recognized experimental nature, nature of those changes. We have a picture of it. It's on the website on the very front page. If you read kind of the summary of why Holy Week, the old Holy Week, there's a picture there of John the 23rd. Uh, kneeling. So before the steps, the cross is laid on the steps and he's kneeling down there. It's something called in English from the English. We call it the creeping where you do these three prostrations before you kiss the cross. And uh, you have Pope John the 23rd right there doing it. Now, this had already been implemented five years before. Why is he doing that? Because it was experimental and he knew it and he didn't agree with it. No, almost nobody agreed with it. It was offensive to so many cardinals and clerics at the time. It was offensive that they would touch Holy Week because it was it was the Holy of Holies is the thing to remember. Now, there is a place in Rome called the Holy of Holies. Do you know about it? Anybody Holy of Holies? Do you know where the, the, the stairs, the Holy Stairs are? Who's been to the Holy Stairs? Wow. Three, four. That's right. We were there together. The Holy Stairs are right across from St. John Lateran Church. And when you get to the top of the Holy Stairs, that's called, you remember peeking in the window there? You get up, there's that weird window. It's got bars in front of it. And you're like, what's that there for? That's the Holy of Holies. I don't know if you read the plaque on the side, but that's the Holy of Holies. Many of the Holy Week rituals used in the Roman Rite were perfected in that room. That's where the great relics were kept. That's where the papal liturgies took place. And when you go in there, you go in only on your knees. And I think they let lay people in there now. You got to pay. I was walking by. I didn't think anybody's allowed in there. I was walking by, I don't know, about a year ago. And I, had, I was there on pilgrimage with some, with some English. And I walked by and there's a lay person there standing blocking the door. And I'm, I'm trying to look past him like, you, know, you want to go in? Can I go in there? And they said, they let me go in. And you, you, can, you walk around in there on your knees. So you go in. But that's where it's old. It's very old in there. And many holy things have happened in there. That's why it's called the Holy of Holies. One, because of all the great relics that were there and an image of our Lord that's kept in there. But also because of the sacred things that were developed in there that we use even to this day in Holy Week. The Holy of Holies. But the untouchable. So back to St. John or, or seeing the obedience and authority. What Pope Benedict wrote just recently what earlier generations, and this is considered papal magisterium. It was actually accepted into the new Denzinger edition. What earlier generations held as sacred remains sacred and great for us too. And it cannot be all of a sudden entirely forbidden or even considered harmful. It behooves us all to use, uh, to, to us to preserve the riches which have developed in the church's faith and prayer and to give them their proper place, Pope Benedict and his motu proprio. Two last quick quotes. Now, this is something you know. I I knew I knew the uh, the good the good priest who contributed most to that document called Universi Ecclesiae. I, I I mentored under him as a 
as a master of ceremonies in, in Rome. And he, I was there talking to him about Old Holy Week while he was writing that document. I don't know if you know Universi Ecclesia. It was, the, it was, that, it was that letter that came out. The, um, it was a letter that came out to regu- the regulatory letter for Summorum Pontificum. Remember, three years after the motu proprio, this other letter was supposed to come to regulate some things. Well, that came from the Ecclesia Day group, and this good priest was writing a lot of it. And he, he had done master ceremonies for Benedict the Sixteenth when he was still a cardinal and knew his take on Holy Week. Pope Benedict, when he when Cardinal Ratzinger, when he went to the fraternity of St. Peter once to, to do uh, Holy Week, spend Holy Week with them, he first thing he asked when he got out of the car, because he got met by the master ceremonies, which Holy Week will we be using? Master ceremonies, of course, the one from 62. And, uh, and he said, why are you doing that? <laughs> so he knew the mind of the, of, the, uh, of, the, of the lawmaker. If there's a qualified priest, a Cetus of Fidelium, a group of faithful, which follow the older liturgical tradition, doesn't say 1962, the older liturgical tradition, and my, my big, what's that mean? Can also celebrate sacred triduum. Now, in 2011, Pope Benedict at St. Peter's Basilica, at the vigil mass on Holy Saturday, gave a homily. That's what popes do. They give homilies and things. And when he did that, he talked about, I think I quoted, here we go. He spoke of traditional Holy Week as before the reform, when there were 12 Old Testament readings before the reform, helping us to to more clearly understand uh, the universal, uh, sorry, the reference in Universi Ecclesi, the one just above it, as the old traditional liturgy, the older traditional. 